In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called minimal number of Airbus Stupers balloons. So basically, the question um, given us a 2D array, and this 2D array symbolizes the balloon size, right? So here you can see we have one six. One six, that's the balloon, and the other um, two eight is another balloon that ha that go that starts at two and ends at eight, right? And the other balloon is seven, starts at seven and ends at twelve, ten, and this is sixteen. So the, uh, the question is we want to, to find the minimal number of arrows to burst all the balloons, right? So in this case, we can shoot one arrow here, right, um, at 6, right? So in this case, x equal to 6, burst the balloon at 2, 8, and 1, 6. And another arrow at 11 to burst the, um, the other two balloons, in this case, 7 and 12, and 10, 16. So in this case, we're just returning total number of arrows to burst all the blues in this case is two right so um, let's take a look at how we can solve this problem but but first we have to see some examples here so you can see here we have another example where we have one two three four five six and seven eight in this case we need four arrows to shoot them all because they're not overlapping each other right so those um, arrays are not overlapping each other so we have to um, return four in this case we, sh we need four arrows if we have something like this where the, the edges are touching right we have two and two three here the edges are touching then we can just um, return two because we can shoot one arrow here um, for example we can shoot arrow one here and one here right between at four right a two and four and another example will be two one and two in this case we can just shoot um, this balloon and all, all um, the number of arrows we need is just one and for this one is going to be one because they're overlapping each other and let's take a look at how we can solve the problem and how do we know first of all how do we know if there is a overlapping balloon right so to determine if there's an overlapping balloon we just just take a look at to take the um, the last element the end point right in this case the end point is three um, the end point is three right so in this case all we have to do is we take the endpoint and we check to see if 3 is between 2 and 5. If it's between 2 and 5, then what we can do is we can just shoot this arrow right here, right? We know that if we were to shoot this arrow at 3, we can burst all those two balloons, right? So we basically have to find the overlapping. And to find overlapping, we have to sort the array. Because when we're given this 2D array, in this case, the array is unsorted, right? So what we have to do is we have to sort the array based on the um, the start element, right? Like we could first, let's take, think about if we were to sort the array based on the first element of the every, every um, balloon, right? In this case, the starting point. Then we get something like this. Okay, well, let's. what if we have something like this where we have a different example, right? In this case, if we were to sort this array, right? In this case, if we were to sort this array, we get something like this, right? We get one, six, 2, 8, 7, 12, and 10, 16. We shoot them all. We all need all we need is two, two, two balloons. And all we have to do is we just check to see if the current interval, right, in the current balloon, the endpoint is actually between the nest interval or the nest balloons range. In this case, 6 is between 2 and 8. So the number of arrows we need at, up to this point is 1, right? So and then we move on to the third balloon. In this case, we know that 6 is not within this range, so we need another arrow. And then we check to see if this element is in this case 12 is between this range in this case it is then we just still need that use the same arrow to burst all those the remaining two balloons right so the total is two but what if we have an example like this right if we were to uh, apply the same algorithm that we just talked about right we basically sort the array um, by using by based on the first element of each balloon right the start the the, the start number right then we get something like this where we have one six two five and three four then in this case we check to see if six is within this range in this case is not so the number of arrows that we need in this case is going to be three right so what we can do instead is we can actually sort the array based on the last element in this case we have four five and six so in this case we check to see if four is within the adjacent um uh intervals um range in this case four is is bigger than two and 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 sorry four is less yeah four is bigger than or uh, equal to two and and less than or equal to five and five is less than sorry bigger than or equal to one 
and less than or equal to 16, uh, sorry, six, right? So in this case, we just shoot one arrow and we can be able to burst all three balloons. So this is the proper way to do it. We basically sort the array based on the last element of each and every single interval. So now you know how we can solve this problem. Let's try to do this in code. Our first step is to declare the size of the array. In this case, we have points.length, right? And basically in the constraints, it says that the array can be zero. So what we're gonna do is this. If n is uh, less than or two, yeah, less than, less than two, what we can do is we can just return n, right? So if it's one, we can just return one. That's, that's all, right? In this case, if we only have one balloon, then we just need one arrow. If we have zero balloons, we need zero arrows, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna sort the array, right, based on the last element, right? So based on the last element of each subarrays. So we have points, and we are just gonna use a lambda expression, and we're just gonna sort ascending order based on the last element of, uh, of each interval. Once we sort the array, what we're gonna do is we're just going to have a variable called arrow that keep track of number of arrow that we have. And initially we're gonna have one uh, because we're gonna start at index one. We, we basically have a previous, um, previous, let's see. So we're gonna have a previous endpoint, right? The endpoint is gonna be the uh, first element Right, the first element's last, so the first array of uh, of its last element, right? So in this case, it's equal to points at zero at one, right? So this will give us the pr previous endpoint, which is this one, right? So this, that's the endpoint. And what we're gonna do is this: we're gonna start at index one, so while i is less than n, i plus plus. What we're gonna do is this: we're gonna see if the previous endpoint is actually um, between the current intervals range, right? So we have i as zero, if, it's, if the current previous endpoint is actually less than or equal to the, 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 the current interval start time, and the previous endpoint is less than or equal to the current intervals i at one. So yeah, basically what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna continue, right? So we're just gonna continue the iteration because we know that we can burst this balloon with the same arrow that we have right now. And then what we're going to do is, otherwise if we have a situation where it's not in the range, then what we're going to do is we're going to increase, right, increment the arrow count. And then we're going to get the previous endpoint to be the current, um, to be the current endpoint, right? So because we're starting a new uh, arrow, so we have to start a new endpoint. Then at the end, all we are trying to do is we're trying to return number of, arrow, number of arrows that we need, right? In this case, we just return arrow. So to summarize, basically, we first we want to make sure if if the um, if the current previous endpoint is actually within the range, within the current um, balloon range, right? So balloon range. If it is, then we can just continue to use the same arrow. Otherwise, we have to use a different arrow and um, have a different endpoint, right? So now let's try to run the run the code. Okay, let's try to submit the code. And here you can see we have our success. So basically, this is how we solve this problem by um, using a n log n time complexity due to the sorting, right? Sorting takes n log n time complexity, and this is this is linear. So n log n is bigger than linear, so we have n log n time complexity. So there you have it, and thank you for watching.